I run a Q and A on my Instagram every week, and I've been doing it now for maybe two or three years. And the one question that comes up nearly every week is: Should Gaelic players do CrossFit or CrossFit type training? So you go online and you Google anything to do with CrossFit, and you get a lot of different opinions, a lot of different ideas. Especially if you're an athlete or if you're just an everyday person that's looking to get healthier. A lot of the stuff you'll read online with regards to CrossFit and athletes is that it's probably not something you should do. So I guess that's the whole point of today in this video is trying to work out what's the best type of training you can do. Is this going to be suitable for you? Should you do it? Should you not do it? Again, this isn't meant to bash anything or put anything down. I guess it's just giving some perspective on different things and giving my opinions on it. You can see there's a lot of different opinions whenever it comes to CrossFit. Some of them are going to be really accurate and some of them are probably going to be a wee bit off and some of them are probably going to be a bit biased. So the question for us today is trying to figure out is it good for you to do if you're playing Gaelic? That's because CrossFit seems to be a really divisive kind of subject so you'll get a lot of s &C coaches that absolutely hate it. Other ones that maybe will take methods from it. And then you get other ones that will promote it. But I think for us to give a kind of fair assessment on it, got to try a CrossFit workout. So we'll get some people down to help me out with that. So I got joined by my good friend Conor McCann and got introduced to a new friend Mark Flanagan. Man with similar hair to me, so we instantly bonded. So Connell and Mark, especially Mark, they would do a good bit of this type of training. Um, Connell, if any of us can follow, we've played for Toronto before, we've done the podcast with him. And um, we always get on really well, so we thought we'd have to get down and get a workout together. So what we were kind of thinking about doing today was we'll do some Olympic lifts. Um, I have been doing Olympic lift training for the past four or five weeks, so I just kind of wanted to max out, especially with them there, just to sort of give me an extra push. And then we're going to get into a CrossFit actual workout and Mark and Connell were kind of planning that so I was just leaving it leaving it up to them which um, now I regret because it was a very painful um, painful 30 minutes. So this is just some of the lifts we've done. We started off with snatching, got up pretty heavy, I had a PB on it, the lads got up pretty heavy too. Um, then we got into some cleaning jerks afterwards so um, about to get into the big lift for me here now. So next on the list then was some cleaning jerks. So we done a snatching, which is probably the more difficult one from a technical point of view. But with a clean jerk, you can usually get more weight on it. So this is one where we're really trying to get some big weight. My goal for this was to get 100 kilos. Um, so it was good to have the lads there because sometimes you need to push with these here because they are really tough to do. So next up then was the actual kind of CrossFit type workout and uh, Mark and Connell planned this. So basically the idea was that you had three minutes to do the first basically set of exercises. First thing you had to do was 10 burpee over box jumps. These here things I'm doing now. Maybe it was 20, I'm just gonna say 10. Once you finish that there, your remaining time in the three minutes was spent in the rower trying to get max calories. We kind of all roughly got around the same, so we were anywhere between sort of 40 and 45 in that one. But like that was really tough coming off them box jumps onto the rower, your legs were just absolutely burning on it. So that was a really terrible way to start. But you did get about six minutes rest in between, um, which was nice because then on the next set you could actually properly go for it and you weren't completely gassed. The next one then was pull-ups, so I think it was 15 pull-ups. And then you had to go on to the ski, then it was the same idea, you had three minutes to do it and then you're on the ski to do your max calories in that time. Crossfit pull-ups are a thing that um, tend to get a bit of jip, so I can't really do the kipping at all, so I just tried to do normal pull-ups with a sort of kick as much as I could to get through it. Um, 
but like that was really tough because it starts to really test your grip strength after the rower and then going on to the ski as well so it was really challenging. Again I think we were pretty similar in the calories we were anywhere between 35 and just over 40 on it um, which was tough you know you're probably talking about two minutes flat out on the machine when you get finished your first exercise. Then the final part of the workout was doing a dumbbell snatch or dumbbell overhead, whatever you want to call it. So dumbbell how you go down to your hips and then back over. I think we had 20 of those to do in total. And then your remaining time was spent on the air bike trying to get calories up. I think we used a 20 or 22 and a half kg dumbbell for that. Um, the bike was terrible at that point. And the echo bike, I don't know if you ever use an echo bike compared to like one of the normal air bikes. It's a lot tougher to get the calories up. Um, I actually can't remember what we done off the top of our head in that now, but I feel like it was somewhere in the 30 mark. So I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, the weightlifting I was really happy with, like on a personal note, like I've been doing kind of a bit of weightlifting for maybe four or five weeks now and I've um, been following the program and I intended to hit those goals at Christmas time, so to hit them now is really good. Um, and I'm really enjoying doing the weightlifting. That is one of the aspects of CrossFit that I really like is that they promote that and they've made Olympic lifting a lot more popular now than probably they've ever been. Um, so I want to keep doing that at least up until you know, our, our actual pitch work starts. Um, in terms of a movement, like someone told me this the other day, they're like a Swiss Army knife of an exercise because you've got so many things going on in them. You know, you've got a lot of coordination that needs to happen. You need to have a lot of good, uh, you need to have a lot of mobility for it. And then the strength, so not only is it concentric strength, there's a lot of eccentric strength happening, a lot of isometric. And in those lifts, you're doing multiple lifts within them. You know, in a, in a clean and jerk, you're doing a deadlift, you're doing a high pull, you're doing a front squat, you're doing a press, you're doing a lunge hold. There's a lot of really good things in it, so I really like that. The workout we done was terrible, in not a bad way, but terrible as in it was incredibly painful. And um, I'm not going to be running to do another one again. Um, the lads are maybe a wee bit more used to it than me, but um, it was really, really challenging. Um, Try it out, let me know what you think, but it was really challenging. The challenges of it if you play Gaelic is, it's really hard to constantly train at a real high intensity every day. You can maybe do it for a few weeks or maybe even a few months, but eventually at some point your body just won't be able to handle it. With training, especially for Gaelic or any other sort of field sport, there's gotta be the kind of peaks and troughs, there's gotta be the times whenever you get up for it, you go for it like a match day or a big training session, and then days when you gotta come down, so that could be some easy gym work, it could be a recovery day. But you need that, you can't just always operate on that high level. And that's maybe some of the challenges with like trying to do CrossFit type workouts, especially in season, or whenever you're doing your pre-season running, is that they're really hard, you know, there's no other way to say it, they are really difficult, and that's not a bad thing. But if you're trying to do that along with other difficult training, you know, there has to be a balance. So I guess that takes me on to what's really the point of this entire video, which is, Whenever you're training for a sport, it's a real struggle to try and do other things that are going to take away from that. Like you only have so much energy in your body. So to try and do two, three, four sports all at one time, they take away from me. So I think the, the thing to take away from this video is make your priority your priority. Don't try and divide it between a lot of different things so that you can't do it well. So if you're playing Gaelic and that's your goal is to be really good at it, then you got to focus on that. Trying to do another sport or two or three will ultimately only take energy away from you and only um, result in you not getting the most out of your training and out of your performance. Well, yeah, to answer some of the questions you might have had about this, um, I hope you enjoyed the workout too. Go check out Connell's page. Um, it's Connell McCann on YouTube. He's putting up some videos as well and he put up a video of his kind of take on the workout. And also look on the Instagram page, Quinn Strength Condition, because that's where I post everything on. So like all my training, training with clients, programs, all those things. So go and check that out as well. And um, that's really it. So see you in the next one.